Just because we're on lockdown does not mean we can distract from the fashion world today. So, hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Aubrey. Welcome back to Curve Logic. And I thought today would be the perfect day to talk about fat girl fashion and the top who you need to know, who you need to follow, and how to slay any style any day. Interesting and keep watching. Damn. I had to take my glasses back off because, you know, your girl can't see. But that doesn't mean I can't slay. I might just be a little blind. I'm legally blind. I can see barely. Barely, but. But priorities. Hey, how are we doing today, y'all? How is life? How's the update? I need all updates. Good, bad, ugly. I need it all. Are we doing okay with lockdown? We may be on the tail end of it. Fingers crossed. If not, that's okay because... We are gonna make the best of every day. So I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are surrounding yourself in love, positivity, and light. And let's get this video started. <laughs> Don't worry, cause the love is spreaded. I'm a big girl. I got enough love to go around twice, maybe even three times. But enough chit chatter. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It only takes a second. I'll be patient. I'll wait, because I want you to join my community. I don't want it to be forced, but I do love you and I appreciate every single one of you for even stopping and clicking on this video. Whether it was by accident or fate has brought us together. I appreciate you and I love you and I hope you're staying safe. Now, let's get this party started. So we all know, honey, a diva is a female version of a hustler. But how was that diva created? How was her fashion originated? And that, honey, is what I'm going to tell you today. The story of me, the diva, the diva, okay? Well, the diva in training. My mother is the diva, the ultimate. But I just wanted to come on here, you know, share some of my favorite plus size influencers, how I was able to develop my own style, which is currently under construction because I'm stepping out. Fashion is ever changing, thriving, ever evolving. So we are able to change our fashion and change who we are. And I wanted to share some of my favorites that helped me grow into my fashion, my fashion sense and what I loved. And hopefully I'll be able to spread some love and happiness to you and share with you influences that you may like. These women have not only broken barriers, they have changed the fashion industry as we know it. From creating more plus size inclusive brands to just overall creating a positive community, emphasizing body positivity and slaying every day while they do that. Honey, that is a full time job. I'm somebody teach me their ways so yeah i thought we you know go down the list show some different styles different women that i am in love with so maybe you can find your style within this and if not create your own style fashion is ever changing you are the creator you are the influencer so do what you want take it and take a spin on it and have fun fashion is fun fashion is creative and fashion is you so i always say when trying to find yourself and you know working through the progress of you surround yourself by who you want to be people who you want to be like and just overall what makes you happy people who you know bring light into your life so um no worries i am going to drop all these women on social media handles and i hope that they touch you just like they touched me and maybe if not they'll lead you to different people to find and different fashion influencers but i love to surround myself around positive plus size influencers simply because they know my body type they know the struggles and they know the obstacles i went through and they know how to get through them so you can't go around, you can't go up or above, you need to go through, honey. And they have already done that, and they are setting trends left and right. And I am taking notes, honey, because I will be the next one, and you will be the next one, and we will be successful together. So, without any further ado, let's get started with number uno. Numero uno? Number one. <laughs> so, starting us off at number one, we have the one and only Miss Rochelle, also known as Beauty Curve. Not only does she thrive in the fashion industry, she also excels in travel and beauty. Honey, when I tell you, this woman is breaking barriers. She just released a second collaboration with Lane Bryant, Beauty Curve 2.0. You need to check it out. The styles is thriving. Everything's spring, girly, and loving it. I'm living off of it. 
she dazzles in different prints, different colors, breaking down the stereotypes of fat women and loving themselves while she's doing it. Check out her Instagram page. Her blog site is amazing. That is my Next girl. we have the one and only Miss Kelly B. Baby, also known as And I Get Dressed. Her style is streetwear mixed with classy, mixed with I need to have it. Honey, she is groundbreaking to say the least. Started the trend fat girl at Fashion Week. She is monumental. From her blog site to her YouTube to her Instagram page, she is creating an inclusive fashion community that allows people to express their fashion in whatever it may be. And coming up next, we have a queen that I have been following and looking up to ever since I practically started YouTube, and that is Stella Williams. She is amazing, not only from her bold looks, but from her charismatic and sweet community. When she's not rocking the runway, she is actually an actress as well. She is one to step on the wild side with her fashion, try different things, and not be afraid to take risks. I've learned a lot from her. She is great. She is amazing. Make sure you check her out and tell her that I sent you. Next, we have Miss Jessica Torres, the queen of bold fashion and not afraid to shake what her mama gave her. From her bold style to her crazy personality, this woman is ideal. She always makes me laugh. She always makes me feel like we are one having a connection, not over camera. She is a sweetheart and she loves to dabble in different styles and always has a different theme for each day. I am obsessed at her versatility and her adaptability to look good in every single thing. Like, how is that possible? She is a queen. I am obsessed. You definitely need to check her out. Up next, we have Miss Kelly Augustine, a true New York lifestyle and a fashion diva. I like to refer to her as the woman who can pull off any hairstyle. Literally any hairstyle she looks amazing in. Not only does she dazzle in streetwear, she promotes diversity and inclusivity in her page, in the plus size fashion industry, and society overall. She is one to follow, one to watch out for, honey, because she is breaking barriers and she is going to start a movement. And I'm right behind you, sis. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm so proud of you. Let's give it up for Miss Kelly Augustine. Now, you know I had to add Miss Margot. She is the queen of edgy fashion and allowing you to live your best weird life and thrive while doing it. Not only does she take a spin on edgy fashion, she incorporates a lot of dark colors that takes a total shift in the fashion world and what we're used to and makes it look so sexy, so edgy, and so overall amazing. I am obsessed. She allows me to thrive in my Harry Potter obsession and she allows you to be yourself and embrace what you are and create that as fashion. There are so many things she has, you know, obsessed about and turned it into fashion. It is amazing. So, yes, make sure you check her out. She a is true goddess of fashion and what it means to shake the table of the fashion industry is none other than Miss Ashley Nell Tipton. She is amazing. You may have seen her on Project One Way. She won the actual competition in 2015 and she has been thriving ever since. Breaking barriers, creating her own fashion line. She is not one to be messed with, honey. Her style is what encompasses me from pastel colors to fluffy tool-like things. She is a icon, an icon, period. So I definitely recommend you check her out from all things girly to chic. She is one to know about it. And last, but certainly not least, we have Miss Gabby Fresh, the OG fat girl herself. Before blogs and plus size fashion was even a thing, she was writing it down and taking names. She was not playing the game and she has come such a long way. From her collaboration with Swimsuits for All, creating inclusive and sexy plus size swimwear, along with her own clothing line coming out, she is a showstopper. Not only is she dominating the fashion industry, she is excelling in the influencer market. You name it, she can do it. Check out her page. She is phenomenal. I am obsessed. And Gabby, we have loved to see you grow. Keep growing, honey. Don't stop till you get to the top. And let's keep it going. Let's break barriers as we go. I hope you all enjoyed this video of fat girl fashion, a little glimpse of my favorite plus size influencers and how they are dominating the fashion industry. Take notes, see what they're doing and be your own fashionista. Do what you want, develop your own style. And I hope that these few people that I've mentioned are a gateway into opening your own fashion sense, what you love 
and hopefully next time I'm able to put your name on here. So stay tuned for Fat Girl Fashion Part 2, 3, 4, 5. It's a series, baby. We're continuing. It's evolving. Because if you can't go to Fat, fat Girl Fashion, where the hell can you go? I'm setting me in my home, girl. Because we feel like, well, damn, if you can't go to Better No Chase, where the hell could you go? Detective. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to spread a little bit of positivity. Don't forget to stay healthy, stay safe, stay inside, and never forget to stay fabulous. I'll catch you next time.